everybody we are live thank you so much for tuning in to another power couple live stream my name is joseph this is cooper come here come on and tonight we are going to be doing a corgi stream all the time all day corgis we're going to be getting your input over the course of the next three hours we've got everything from enrichment toys to regular toys to food. We've got a whole bunch of treats. We're going to try and keep Cooper wangled within uh, the little back play area that we have here. Uh, but guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, we're just going to chill for the next couple hours, and we're just going to have a fun time with Good Boy, and we hope that you do as well. Any and all input, uh, input is going to be greatly, greatly appreciated. Realms, what's going on? Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> what's going on? Hunter, thank you very much for tuning in. Aaron, thank you very much for tuning in. It feels like you're watching from a security cam, which you're not. You're actually watching from our regular camera that we have. Uh, we just happen to have it placed over to watch everything now. So uh, we've also got another really, really cool cam set up that uh, our, our Cooper camera, our second additional camera, is going to be stationed down on the floor. And we're going to be able to make it to where when he does go for maybe a costume, we can get an up-close view on him. Uh, and we also have a you know an up-close view for when he's trying to work with his... Hey, he's gone. He went to go see his mom. And uh, we'll be able to get an up-close view of him as he's doing his enrichment toys. Or at this point, I guess it's just going to be me who's going to be doing it. So uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to go and get Good Boy back because he's already decided he doesn't want to be here. But... Uh, go spread the word. Put a GoPro on your head. Yes, I wish I could. I wish I could. Okay, he's coming back. Welcome, Bark. Thank you very much. Welcome, Bark. Okay. All right, so he's going to be going back and forth. Let me get the door closed because he's just, I have a feeling he's just going to be going back and forth forever. So let's move the camera slightly. All right, so... There is that. I'm going to try and get this camera in the right spot. All right, we're going to focus on here. All right, I think that's a good starting point. Cooper, help, I'm trapped. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to swap over to the Cooper cam. <laughs> We're going to actually, this is a work in, uh, in progress. We're still trying to figure out what the, uh, what it's going to end up looking like. But, uh, here we've got the bigger, uh, we've got the big camera that's right over on the right hand side of the stream. Uh, and that's going to have a nice overview of everything. And actually when we do get him on the couch, we'll make sure that we lift the camera up. And then over here, we have that camera really down low. Uh, for you guys to to enjoy him when he's really getting, uh, you know, into his his food, or the treats, or the toys, or what have you. We'll have that following him, and then I think we've got the chat up here as well. So if you guys were to uh, go ahead and see, there we go. And look, you get to see him eat some food. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's get. It would help if I can identify that as the chat, right? That'd be cool. So let me just grab a couple of things so we can show that it's the chat. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's spooktacular makeup. We don't want that. And then this too. Okay, both of those are good. Let's go to the good boy cam. Let's paste that in. And I think that should go about here. <laughs> I don't have the chat actually lined up. So let's see, not there. Then are we gonna go here? There, we'll go with that. Sure, we'll go with that. 
that work? Oh, a chat box, yeah. So this way you guys can have input while you're watching The Good Boy. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna get him in here. So let's get him back in here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you can pull us a target. Come on. Hey, what the, the... Yeah, that's what I Come in here. Come in here. Do that thing. Take over for me. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to all the lovely. Hi people. everybody. Oh wait, all you can see is my shoes. But so how's everybody doing? So uh out of curiosity, is Cooper a purebreed or a mix? He's actually a purebred tricolor corgi uh that's he's tricolor because he's got the black uh, i don't even know what this camera is just so he is tricolor because he's black um as well as his um white and sort of fawn red color so he's a redheaded tricolor because he's got this sort of more auburny redhead kind of look versus sort of more golden corgi. so great question and right now he is Mountain and crouching. So we have a bunch of enrichment toys. I'm sure you guys can see them over here. These are all different puzzles. He's actually very good at solving them uh, and doing so pretty quickly. So the first toy, the one that's furthest from me, uh, there's four different like trap doors that he has to try to open. And the first one, I think it took him like 12 minutes. Uh, but the second time, I think he did it like pretty quickly. Pajamas, I mean, pajamas. Oh, you mean because the scrubs are like pajamas? Is that why? These are these are my professional pajamas. Professional pajamas. Yeah. It won't work yet. Okay, I'm gonna get food. All right, go ahead and go get the food. You guys can stare at my bald head <laughs> while we try and get this rolling up here. Okay, so we got our Some questions about Cooper. Keep posting them. I'd love to answer, and I'm sure Joe would too. Okay, let's. You don't want to look at my dirty ass feet. You guys want to see Cooper in action while he's eating his food. Hey. No, no, you just, you decided you wanted, the moment I wanted to actually get you eating your food, you wanted to stop eating your food? Okay, lovely, there we go. Now, tune in for some cool jazz moves while we watch Cooper, I guess, leave the camera. I, I don't know. He, he actually opened the door. He just opened up the door. He grew thumbs. I don't know how it happened, but he grew opposable thumbs, opened the door. Now he just pushed it open and then he left. Come on, come back in. Come back in. Okay, good boy. Yes, good boy. Cooper exit stage left. Yes, he did. All right, come here. Practicing his entrance. And his exit. Yes. Hey, do another one leg up. Oh. He loves to <laughs> lick the condensation. Whenever it's an alcoholic beverage, we're like, whoa, 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 slow down. It's a very soothing jazz assassin music. Hey. Okay. Of course, you guys are gonna have to let us. You're gonna have to let us know how the uh, the sound levels are right now. Do you want me to put the chat up there and read letters? Hey, whoa, whoa! You drinking my drink? You drinking my drink? So this toy here, the mad scientist. That's the one. He gets the most aggravated with, I would say, because you have to basically flip it and hold it for the treats to come out. And he he figures it out. He knows how to do it, but he just gets annoyed with it pretty quickly. I'm so excited we're doing this. Poor good boy. He's always the guest star and never the, the headliner. So this is nice. Oh, he's interested in what I have. Oh, that was a very big burp. We should mic him. We should mic him, yes. The noise is emitted from this good boy sometimes. Yeah, I can go get him. So if anyone's 
has had a stressful week, this is a perfect way to decompress. I mean, press. what a way to cap the last four years of the shit show that we've had, known as the, <laughs> known as the Trump presidency, with some jazz and with a corgi. We should have done this election night. Right? It would have been a lot uh, less stressful. Although I think we do have family friendly on, so oops, my bad. I didn't mean to. It's, I just meant to say a show. Yeah, it's a good show. Right here. Right. Sorry, you guys. Come on. Come on. Up in your bed. Yeah. Good oh boy. You want to come up here? Uh oh. The people can't see you. Let's see. And he's down. <laughs> Good boy, you eat your food? That was like jazz bossa nova feel. This is a little... I know, you're looking at me like I'm a crazy mom. That's because I am a crazy mom. Ooh. <gasps> That's daddy got goodies? Oh, I see a big fluffy hedgehog. You found him? Yeah. Cooper loves these big fluffy hedgehogs and he demolished them. Oh, he already sees it. You want me to put that on? Mm. Give me a chance. If you would like to narrate, I show it off. Me first. Okay. Or you can show it off and I'll narrate it. Okay. Okay. Ready? It's very important. It's very important. Oh, I want to let him. Yes, yeah, so this is Cooper's bear costume. It is super adorable. The glare is bad. So. The glare is bad on my Inga Dome piece. That's what it is. Right, it's why we try and do this. You mess up in the mood lights here? No, we're actually gonna have it in that we couldn't have. Oh, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was ah. Just, it was just your head. Okay, it was just my head. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna put this for lighting anyway. So this is his bear costume, I'm just gonna show you guys. Um but you wore this for like ten minutes on Halloween. <laughs> We got this a couple of years ago, and he is absolutely freaking adorable. On his Instagram, we actually have a photo of him wearing this, and it is everyone's favorite photo of these he's investigating. All right, actually, I like the, the lighting the way it looks. Okay. Oops. Ooh. Spooky. Dark core. And the light in that room is. Is that dark horse? Dark cork. You come here. Hey. Come here. Oh, you're gonna, oh, you're going to go daddy's costume. So this is the costume he actually wore for Halloween a couple of years ago. It looks like there's a bear sitting on the couch now from the camera angle. Nice. Um, a little bear. Huh? Is that a little bear? He's a killer bear. I'm like, that's a little bear. Um, so yeah, I had bought him two, and he ended up wearing the superhero. He had better range of motion. Can I? Come here. Oh, don't bite. All right, ready? Here. Super, superhero. Oh, you're just going first? No, no, I'm just gonna take a shot off. So this one here, I like it because when he runs, the little arms go, and it's the little cape on the back. It was really, really cute. Hey, don't eat your bear! Eat the bear! Come here, hey, you are the bear. It's a great day to eat a bear. No, oh, every day is a great day to be a bear. So that's an inside thing. Um, so my alma mater. New toy, catch! Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited? Jump! Jump! Jump around! Jump up! Jump up! And get down! Good boy! Hey Cooper! I got even more toys! Oh, Daddy got you candy corn? Candy cork? So the guy at Taco Bell felt so bad for making me wait so long, he threw in a free crunch wrap. Nice. And I also got you your hard taco because they screwed it up. New toy! Catch! Each vegan, I call this his uh, his Instagram pose. I won't say what else I call it. Look back at it. But like he literally keeps his front down and like pops his booty. He knows what it takes to get famous. Thank you. Oh, he doesn't do that. Eat. Eat. Oh, does it squeak? Are these all cute Halloween toys? They were all one dollar each. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! They're only gonna last like a minute each, so I figured it's great that they're only a dollar. 
So anybody in our chat? Enjoy, catch. Yeah. Oh, that one's a kitty too. Oh boy. So I know some of you guys have dogs. Does anybody own the Furbo? Because I've, I've known some people who have it, but I've been curious about it. Let me know in chat. New toy, catch. Ooh, Cooper. That's fine. I feel like we need more camera angles. This is much harder. I'm excited for the hedgehog because I know how much he loves those. I don't know what it is either. I haven't said anything on a Furby. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some Furbo. I think it works here. What do you know? But Joe and I were talking earlier, and we're like, oh my god, if the stream gets to feed him, he's gonna become a diabetic. So, Mr. Hedgehog. Ooh. Oh, it's only one foot. Really? It's in the foot? Sit. You sit. Oh, that's a weird. So, Corgis love squeakers. They are squeaker hunters. He will literally surgery on these toys. He will find the seam and he will, with his teeth, pull them out unstitch them, pull the stuffing out, and then get the squeaker. Is this our haul shop? I guess. Hmm? Oh, he came to take it away. Thanks. This is mine. This is all mine. That booty off. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna need some opposable thumbs, baby. I should get his water too. I'm gonna grab that right now. Psst. He needs refreshments. I'm gonna grab his water. He's gonna hang out. Said a few questions about Cooper. Or Corgi's in general. Or if you want us to do something with him. Looking at me because I have food. I need some vitamin treats. You have home and food, and that's way better. Shall we do some tricks? What do you think, Coop? Should we do some tricks for the people at home? Hey. Right. Hey, Coop, what do you think? Ready? Can't read the question. Sorry. Seeing all those stuff makes me want to take a trip for more claw machines. That's a good idea. All right, ready? Let's move your bed. Let's move your bed. Oh, okay. You guys can see him now. Can you stand up for me? Can you stand up? Up. Wow. Oh my gosh. Don't get down. Turn. Sit. Sit. Can I call? Thanks. Can I have this one? Thanks. Can you speak? Speak. Oops. Thank you. Good job. He does not like doing speak. All right, he stand up. Go. Ready? Oh. <laughs> you fell off your bed. You died so hard. You fell off your bed. All right, hold on. Okay. Oh, right off the bed. <laughs> Silent work. He does this thing. My mom's like, you look like an old man clocking your dentures, but he just like chomps. Can you come up? Oh my gosh, this is big boss. All right, ready? This is my other favorite one. Ready? Guess which hand? Yeah, the one's up there. Hey, ready? Which one? Is it this one? Oh, good job. Good job. So that's some of his tricks. 
he also knows how to uh, hop over things. Like if I if I want, he'll hop over my legs each way. He doesn't have a lot of room here to to do so, but he can do that. Um, he can roll over. He just doesn't always like to. So he can do roll over. Um, he'll do it in grass, but he does not like to do it in the house or on his bed or really anywhere. Should we put on a costume? He's also very good about getting dressed, but then when you go take it off of him, he like stiff arms you like help me out of this. Hey, hey. Give me this little pachinha. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh you do angel boy. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Hey, don't eat your bear! You are the bear. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stand up for me. Stand up. Up. <laughs> Come here. Are you doing away your superhero? Come here. <gasps> da, 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 super coops. I love this one. I really do love the arms. That's legit. Like, we took him to a Halloween parade, and then when he ran, it was like, nah. Are you getting your pumpkin? Eat it. Go eat him. Go eat him. I think we're all new, so we haven't associated any names yet. But at home, if we have particular toys, for example, so like he had, you know, his puppy, he had his bear, he had his ball. He knew all the different names. So if I said, go get your bear, he knows enough to go get the bear and which one is the bear. <gasps> is this your hedgehog? Is this your hedgehog? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got the puppy on his head. You get him. You gonna get the kitty? You gonna get the kitty? Oh, you're gonna bring the kitty to your bed? Are you gonna perform surgery on the kitty? You gonna take over? And you guys will see him literally hold it down with his paw and start ripping stitches. You guys can't hear it, but he's, I can already hear his teeth against it. Oh, daddy's bringing refreshments. He's already managed to like start unstitching it too, because there's actually fluff already of purple kitty. You want some water? Good boy. It's it's like a light gray hedgehog. It's it looks white because it's a light, but he's like a super super light gray and he's got a a white belly. Or it was white. October got him dirty. Good boy, Timmy. Good job hydrating. You call the hedgehog a booper? How's this? The boops the Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's perfect. Okay. That's funny. Yeah, Cooper will do that to you if, like, if he, if he wants to play fetch and you're not doing it for him fast enough, he will sit there and, like, bonk you in the knee with it, like, hey, hey, throw this for me. Oh, thank you. Have this one? Oh, thank you. I don't know if he's in camera enough to see this. Might be. He's not really, but I can I can change that to okay. where the bottom one you can you yes. can see if I can. Ready? You stay. You stay. He hates this one. You stay. You. Uh oh. Ah. Daddy's doing camera controls. All right, we'll wait. You ready? Come here, look at mommy. Okay, ready? You wait. <laughs> you bring me up a bit. You stay, you wait. You wait, you stay. Okay. Oh, good catch midair. I don't know how much we caught of that, but... Enough. He hates that trick, but it's one of my favorites. Because nine times out of ten, he will catch it midair. It was. I removed it. So I'll let you guys uh, decide what Cooper is going to do next. Do we want to do some uh, puzzles once Joe has got the controls figured out? I think things are looking pretty good for, you know, for all that. Cooper's such a good boy. Honestly, like, it's hard for you guys to get a sense of how intelligent he is just from the internet, but 
Like, he, I've had two other dogs before him, and he is by far the smartest dog I've ever had. He's the smartest dog I've ever known. He is learning to spell. Hello, Celtic. It's going wonderful. Thank you for popping in. Popping. It's popping. Yeah. You missed some tricks, but we can we can do some more. You can he's always got, do some more. He's got all these new toys, all these new treats. We've got costumes. Oh, he's today. I just realized that. I should take off my shoes. Show my corgi socks. No, you have to see. I'm gonna just change the cameras just quickly, so bear yeah, with us. Oh, I just, I don't like the graininess of the texture, so I want to see if we can do something a little bit better. Yeah, Celtic, he is. He's a, he's a king in our household. My brother calls him King Cooper, which I always think, like, is funny, because he's like Mario, like, King Koopa. Oh, that's hilarious. I got, uh, hold on here. But he is very spoiled. Um, we love him very much. I like to tell the story about the time that uh, Cooper had a stressful day. So I had sent Joe to the store to pick up some, um, some fillets for me to cook for dinner. I still don't like the graininess. Hold on. I'll keep talking. We'll fix the green, but... No, I mean, that's about as good as we're going to get it for, for now. Is it just because that one's the 720 and the other one's the 1080? The 1080 one is actually the one that's up on top here. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I sent Joe to the store to go pick up some fillets so I can make dinner. And he gets home, and I'm like, this feels very heavy for two steaks. Like, this does not feel like like two steaks. And it's like a pound and a half of, of steaks. Like, what the heck? He's like, there's three in there. I'm like, what? He's like, Cooper had a bad day today. He had a rough day. He's stressed out. So I, I got him a steak, and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, you speaker. And I'm like, he is. He's, he's spoiled. That's... But I'll, I mean, I... The other day he wasn't feeling well. I made him like chicken and pumpkin and whatever he wants, you know. For good reason. For good reason. He is. He got a whole stream, whole steak, a whole steak all to himself. Well, all these toys all to himself. But he's a very good boy, and he's honestly he he really is such a smarty cork. Like Joe and I have had to take to to spelling a lot of things because he just knows what we're saying all the time. Like, we have children, they're going to be excellent spellers just because of the talk. I'm a him. So my favorite thing, too, is, like, if there's something Cooper doesn't want to eat, like, if he doesn't want to eat his regular food, or, like, if I have to have him take a supplement or something, and he doesn't want it, like, I'll just leave it, and then I'll take, like, whatever it is I have. Yeah, we're doing popping in before bed. Oh, I got a corgi paw on my foot. Corgi paw on my foot. Corgi paw on my foot. Let's see what the uh, the 720 would look like, nice and big like this. He looks fine. Okay. You know what we can do? We can take the big one. We can switch it up. How about that? You can see the big boy better like that anyway. That's, that's a good fit. So I want to mic him because I want you guys to hear what he's doing. He is legitimately popping the stitches out of this hedgehog. That's better. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. But he will literally remove it like stu like sutures, and he will pull out the squeaker. He will pull out all the stuff until he gets the squeaker, and then he's like, I'm happy. But he will eviscerate them. He's an absolute surgeon. But yeah, he gets, he does look very proud. He gets very proud of himself and his skills. He thinks quite a bit of himself. So do we. I see that he's staring at me and blending. It's because I just opened food. He's like, I don't know what it is, but I want it. I literally, I, do you want to know how spoiled this dog is? I have literally made him his own croissants before. Like, homemade, three-day, from scratch, legitimate croissant with European butter, and he had his own.
Mom, I have short legs. Yeah. He does have the most adorable little little bitty paws. And I love that he has little socks and gloves. Hey. Put it there. Dink. Put it there. Dink. Put this one. Oh, dink. He does have stubby little legs, I love them. Yeah, somebody earlier asked if he's a purebred, and it's funny because a lot of people around here, like, there's not many corgis. And people be like, hey, what kind of dog is that? You know, like, is that a dwarf dog? Like, everyone thinks he's a part dwarf, like, German Shepherd or a dwarf German Shepherd or combined with something else. He's also quite tall for a corgi. Tall boy. Tall boy, long boy, thick boy. He is taller than the average corgi, longer, and thicker. Two C's worth. Mm hmm It is a big, small boy. Whoa, that is a massive Cooper cam. He is small, but thick. This is like Jazzy Spy. This is like... James Bond goes to a jazz club. All right, thank you so much, Celtic, for popping in. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bon nuit. Yeah, this is a script from from Celtic, just for you. I feel like we should swing Boom Mike around so you can hear him. No, that's okay for now. Because if I put it over here, it interrupts my ability to get over here and make some changes. Mm. No, thank you. You guys, the stare he is giving me, and just licking his chops. I'm gonna clean some of his enrichment toys, and then, um, and then we should be good to to roll for some of that. Yeah, and you guys can decide. Maybe we can put a like a five minute poll up. Uh, we can do the is that it's not chess. What's the middle one called? The chess is the other one. Or is that the chess one? Um, that's the chess one. That's the Six. boxes, and then that's the mad scientist one. Yeah. Let everybody pick. All right, I'm gonna go and wash his a uh, few of his his uh, toys here. You mind if I pull up? Go right ahead. Just um, remember, the main camera is the one that's uh, focused on him right now. So. All right. Ooh, Bill's giving that booty. Uh-oh. Okay, you stay over there. Go in your bed. Hydration break, guys. Cooper's telling you, go get a sip of water. Good boy. Go, baby. Do it on this fine evening. How's everyone's week starting off? I keep forgetting it's Monday today. It doesn't feel like Monday. Oh, good boy. You're so hydrated.
Can you turn? Okay. Super. Can you turn? Ooh, nice turn. Good job. Good job. If you guys have requests for tricks too, let me know. like relaxing jazzy music like such a sophisticated chord what an evening cooper is like staring me down hey there you go a little snack Yeah, let me know if any of you guys have the Furbo, because I've been considering it for a while, but it's a little pricey, so I've been a little hesitant. Also, don't forget to check out his social media. It's down below on the page. You guys can get cute pictures of Cooper. <laughs> Realms, what kind of character did you make? I think my D and D character is a half half elf forge cleric. Nice. So funny! I rolled really well when setting up my character, so I'm the uh, the tank of the group. I actually have a pretty decent character, I have to say. But we play with some friends about once a week. So Puzzle Box has won the vote, so as soon as Joe is back with those, I will set it up and you guys will get to watch Cooper solve his Puzzle Box. We'll do some of the other ones later as well. Hey, Melanie Bear. <gasps> Ready? You guys can't see this, but he's already like pulling apart this cat. <gasps> what a cute lady bear! Oh, you just stuff and roll 20. I think. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, grab something on your snoot. I don't know if you guys can hear him chomping, but he doesn't step to his snoot. He's been going nuts. Yeah, I think Joe made an account on uh, Roll 20 a while back. That's cool. Hey, all right, give me this box. Sit up, come up. Hey, what are we up? Oh, he's being stubborn. All right, how about for a treato? Hey. No treat? Oh, but you see that look? Told you. Alright. What about... I gotta make sure that they are... What are these? Yapple bananas. Apple banana flavor. Interesting. I gotta make sure to save the small ones for inside the, uh... You guys see this? He is legit. He literally is like eating his kitty cat. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. All right, hey. These are new Tritos.
great fit up for me? Okay. Thank you. Yes, I know. Good boy. All right. Give me this one. No, no, this one. Thank you. I know. <laughs> okay, now. What? All right, ready? Mom, I'm not a bear. Three. Oh my gosh. Mom. Can you look right there? Show the people. Show the people at home. Are you a cute bear? Oh my goodness. He's a very cute bear. Oh, so cute. Do I want some? All right. Ready? Give me these beans. Give me these clothes. He's like, all right, for food, I guess. He will literally do anything for C-H-I-C-K-E-N. I cannot say it or he will be very upset if I don't have any. You can't lift your paw. You're stuck. You're holding on your head with your paw. <laughs> Usually he's very good about letting us um, put clothes on him. He actually has like a Christmas sweater. That's what we should do. We should like get a fake fireplace background or something. And then uh, put him in his Christmas sweater with some light jazz. Oh, what is this? Get him. Get him. He's staring into your souls, guys. Vicious attack cord. Kitten never stood a chance. Oh, oh, it's dad. Uh, oh, it's dad. It's my favorite person ever. Oh my god, it hit the camera. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, so the puzzle box on the zig boat. So we'll put that one over here. And we'll set this one up. All right, guys, so he knows how to play this. I'm going to use the bigger treats for this one because we cannot even get them out. So each box has a different way to be open. So you guys can kind of see this from up top as well. But this one's a flip. This one he has a hard time. He has to lift that off. Sometimes he uses his teeth. A lot of times he just uses his paw. This one has to slide. And then this one has a pull drawer. So he actually has to remember how to do everything basically. So I'm gonna set this up and then you guys can watch him solve the puzzles. Right. Some of the ones he has a harder time with and less than the ones that he has a longer time because it's, I feel like it's more rewarding. These smell really good. It's like apple banana wait. Hey you wait. You wait. Okay, hey, hey. He already opened it. You gotta wait. He literally, as I was like trying to steal the bag, he was like, I'm just gonna eat one real fast, mom. Okay, hey, can you come this way? All right. Can you set? Good boy, are you ready? On your board? Get set. Go. Live action cameraman. Oh, there you go. All right, good boy. Box one has been solved. All right. He's looking to see if there's anything else inside of box one. Oh, I got through box two very easily. Those two I only put one tree because they're a little easier. Now, he has an okay time with the drawer. He figures it out pretty quickly. Oh, he he just trying to shut the first one. Help put that one back on. Oh, you guys can. He's good enough. <laughs> okay, babies. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. He's got to figure it out. He's got to move around. Hey, Cooper. Okay, wait, 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 stop. Wait. He's like, no waiting. Just treats. 
<laughs> He's licking, licking wait, wait, the box. The thing is, he knows, but it's been like something interesting. Does he know? He there, knows. there he is. He's got it now. Coordination. I don't know why, but he's moved on to the big drawer. He's like, let's go. Cool. I want to know. Oh, good boy! All right, good boy. First time, it took him probably like ten or twelve minutes because it was the very first time he had never done anything like this before. Wow, all the trios are gone. Record time. But yeah, he's he's not done this one, and I'd say probably a year or two. You dropped one. <laughs> you guys thought he was very eager. He knows that there's there's goodies inside. I think the next one we'll do probably will be the uh the mad scientist. Because that one takes him a little bit more time. He's pretty quick at the chess one. He's gonna blend the ever loving. You know what out of it. Yeah, he's gonna just keep blending the boxes. That's kind of pretty. Uh, until he makes sure there's nothing left inside. He's like so helped out this quiet. I always worry he's gonna like hurt his nail by like <laughs> so aggressively scratching. Mm, you know what? I know where I put the charger. Yes, it is. Sure. Okay. Hey, Cooper. Executive producer, slash director. Oh my gosh! And then Lundad's drink. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wow! Oh, thank you. You turn. Wow, that's a good boy. Oh my gosh, such hap. Such hap. Is he the happiest little boy you've ever seen, guys? He's literally such a sweetie. Wow. That's a good boy. Hey, do you want to play another game? Do you want to play another toy? Should I restart the songs? Uh, sure. Did they come to an end? I think so. I don't hear anything. Yeah. Oh, are you itchy? Aww. Look at me. Hit. Okay. Do I play the game? What do you say? Game? Oh. Play the mad scientist? I know this is gonna make you crazy. So, should we do chimkin? Bacon or beef? Which one? Punch a chimkin? He's like, I don't care. So this one here, I'm going to bring it closer while I fill it up. He has a harder time because this one, if you just spin them around crazily, not much is going to happen. But you have to sort of turn it and then hold it in the upside down position. And it actually comes with two difficulties. There's a difficulty, this one, which is the wider tube. 
Then there's another one that's a, a narrower two. And so the narrow one is like extra hard. It's hard to find creeks that fit the narrow tube though. Sometimes they get stuck. Whoops. Oh, thank you so much for those bits. Ah, oh, woo! Cargo bits. Thank you so much, Rounds. All right. Cooper, they're cheering for you, baby. All right. So we are going to let him work on that. There we go. That sounds good. This one, he, it takes him a little bit longer, so. And then all of a sudden, he will literally figure it out and be like, ha ha, I helped dump the whole, whole tube. Uh, these are also, who makes these again? Uh, uh, activity? Something, is it dog activities? Yeah, yeah dog activity. Yeah. I think, actually, I saw the mad scientist one. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the guy's name. There's a channel on YouTube, and it's him and Corgi, and he has something very similar. Oh, <laughs> that's a new strategy. It's like a tunnel. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aaron. So Corkies are, are very small. I guess he's probably the smartest dog I've ever had. And they're smart dogs, just by nature. Um, but they need enrichment, and they need to be challenged. So these are great because it keeps his mind sharp. It keeps him busy. It keeps him thinking. I'd actually love to find some other ones, possibly. Possibly. He got these all for Christmas one year, right? Not yep. that it matters. He doesn't know it's Christmas. We gave him to him for Christmas. Yeah. Um, but every year he does okay. He does. He does all right for Christmas. Pop spoils him. We spoil him. He gets a pretty good haul. All the time, every time. That's right. He loves to eat. <laughs> so he's very food motivated. So any dog can be trained, right? But he's trying to motivate food. He is very food motivated. He will do anything for chicken. That one's empty, honey. He went for his other toy, like, oh, oh, you're showing your booty to the internet, man. And then Drew Valley. He's taking a new approach. <laughs> Should do like color commentary for for quirks. I was so disappointed, you guys, because I was literally in Huntington Beach the weekend of uh, Corgi Beach Day, and they canceled it. I think I told the story on my stream, though, but I got to meet a couple of corgis, but I was like, I want to see the corgi races and all the corgi costumes. And... But it's funny, even the two that I met, like, one of them was kind of thick. I'd say not quite as thick as him, but close, but she was, like, much smaller. And... He's now... Trying to get the last few uh, bits out. It's I love watching him though, because like when he we first got this, it would take him time to like really figure it out and learn what he had to do. And we kind of coaxed him a little bit in the beginning just to kind of guide him, but we didn't show him. We didn't teach him. We let him figure it out for the most part. Yeah, these these enrichment toys are. Great. He's gonna test each one to make sure like it's empty. Oh, yep, see like that one still has stuff, so he keeps going back to the same one. But he'll check them and make sure, but like he knows there's more in that first one. Okay, I gotta kinda stick his tongue in there like make sure. You're a corgi! You're not an anteater. Oops, there you go. I think that's your last one. yourself he backed into a door and he closed it with his butt and he scared himself <laughs> oh my goodness 
My poor son. Poor baby. Is there anything else in there? I think it's empty. Do you want more? Hey? Do you want more? What do you say? What do you say? What do we say? Say, please. No, your other friend doesn't have any more. Hey, come here. Come here. We'll do more of this one. Oh, you guys are getting the full peach experience. My goodness. Oh, these are the wrong ones. Hold on. <gasps> these are too big. They added these guys. Approximately 200 in here. Holy cow. How many ounces? Four ounces. Wow. 50 treats per ounce. That's a lot. You so oh. many. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I not moving fast enough for you? Are you you, you want? Are these? This is what you want? Do you want to catch for people? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, <laughs> he didn't catch it. Sometimes he's really good at catching, and other times he's like, oh, don't hit me. I do like only a few at a time so he doesn't like demolish these. Alright, go ahead. Get him. Get your treats. Come in. I know, like, Erin, you've got much bigger dogs than Cooper, but I'm sure they have stuff like this for bigger puppos as well. Oh, 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 full on booty. Cooper, you shouldn't be butting in. It's not how you get views. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. There's more in there. That's not all of them. That one's empty. It has to be the simplicity of some of these things. Like, they're super easy to put together. There's different difficulties. Like, he has another one that's, like, harder. Oh, my Thank you for the raid, Sayawada. So guys, my name is Stephanie. I am one half of Power Couple. This is Cooper. He's our good boy Corgi. Uh, my better half is in the other room, but we switched things up tonight. We have a Corgi stream going. So this is our good boy. Oh, sticky things. Oh my gosh. Yes, Corgi stream. Oh my god. Thank you for the follow. Uh, is that Smetty? Um, thank you so much. Hi to everyone. Hi to Saya. Thank you so, so, so much. We really appreciate all the stream love. Let me let me come down into frame here. Gosh. So hi everybody. I am Stephanie. Like I said, I am one half. Joe is the other half. Cooper is the best part of our relationship. Funny story. When we started dating, uh, Joe already had Cooper, and on our first date, he showed me pictures, and then I was like, "I want to meet him," and he's like, "Oh, I'm a good father. I don't want just everybody meet him," and uh, he made me wait to meet the dog. And I think that's, that's how he got me to stay. Yes. Thank you so much for all of the love. And guys, if you're interested, there are, um, links down below to Cooper's social media. So if you want to see like adorable pictures, right? It's a solid method. You got to give him props. It's like, Hey, look, this is my super adorable dog, <laughs> but, uh, can't meet him after until after a couple dates. So the first time I ever met Cooper, so I was like, oh my god, this is the best. And um, I earned Cooper's love with pizza. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sayawada, for following him. But yeah, I, uh, I would order pizza every time I would go to Joe's house, and I would share. Thank you so much for the follow, Queen Sketch. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, Cooper's a mood. Cooper, Cooper loves food. We were talking about this earlier. He's very food motivated. Hey, Cooper, do you want to do your puzzle box scan? 
So we had him doing a puzzle box earlier. Oh my god, Cyril, thank you so much. Awoo for those hundred Corgo bits. Thank you so, so much. While he runs the heck out of his mad scientist toys, I'm going to grab his puzzle box. Oh my gosh, he already knows. He already knows. So he solved this one earlier, but we are going to do this one again. All right. You okay, baby? Oh my gosh, up close, Corgi. He is super, super smart, honestly. We were talking about this earlier, and honestly, I've had other dogs, and he's the smartest dog I've ever had. Um, Corgis are pretty smart by nature. Um, we have to spell a lot of words for Cooper because he knows what they all are, and he's learning <laughs> how to spell. Yes, he does have a very soft food. Come here. Come here. Show him your peach. Oh my gosh. What? What? You're showing the whole internet your butt again. Showing off your butt again. I told him that's not the way to get followers. He does have that heart butt. So in the two drawers that are the harder, the drawer and the um, lift, I'm going to put two treats as the extra special reward for him. And then the other boxes, he's going to get just one treat. Um, Sayawada was kind enough to give us a raid with Ancient Raiders. Holy crap, thank you so much, Sayawada. And he's followed. Like, hey, what's going on? All right, so Cooper is ready. He's excited. He knows how to do this puzzle box pretty well. He did it in a pretty good time earlier. Can you turn for me? Thank you so much for turning. He scared himself earlier. He pooped his butt. He pooped his butt on the board. <laughs> All right, you guys, you ready? We gotta cheer him on. We're gonna see what his time can be. Can I have a paw? Thank you. Can I have a little paw? Thank you so much. You wait. Are you ready? You wait. You wait. Go. They're cheering. Right. He got the hardest box first. He is wasting. No time. Oh, Cooper. Oh my goodness, he's already oh, opened the drawer. Open up the drawer, ripping it out. Oh my God, Sayawada says hi, Joe. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much again, Sayawada, for the read. Uh, thank you very much, uh, everyone who gave a follow as well. Greatly appreciate it. You guys, he is loving your encouragement because he literally did the two hardest boxes first. Cooper, you gonna go back, baby? So I was talking about this earlier, but we have a couple of these different enrichments, and there's three for four days. Because they need stuff like this to keep them chin. They're naturally herding dogs, so if they're not herding, they need other things to do. He is a smart boy, although now he's like not using the toilet. Um, it is pretty. Okay. So, oh, <laughs> he got it on the turn. So when we got these for him the first time, it took about twelve minutes to solve this puzzle box. Um, and we didn't assist him. We guided him a little bit, but really, <laughs> oh, you're treated. Yes. You can get a clap in there. Yeah. Good boy, clap. Good boy, clap. A round of applause for this good boy. All right. Oh, he's drinking some water. All right, everybody, drinks. This competitive treat finding is he's exhausted. He honestly, he like did so well under pressure. Nicole XOXO said, oh, I'm hug him. He is honestly the snuggliest boy ever. Actually, this is a good time for me to very quickly kind of throw in some good boy emotes here. Yes, guys. So if you are a subscriber, our cutest emotes that we have are of Cooper. Uh, they're actually photos pulled from his IG and made into some adorable. You must still look. Yeah, there you go. Um, they're so cute. And they will pop across our screen, which is great. Yeah, he is honestly, he's such a snuggly good boy. Oh, he's digging for toys in his toy box now. Oh, that's not the one. This is, wait, wait a minute. What's going on, Shogun? Thank you very much for tuning in. Through the lids everywhere. There we go. Mommy doesn't know how to put it back together. Hello, Shogun. How are you tonight? So yeah, Cooper does pretty well with these. Do you want to do your chest board? Want to do the chest board? Uh, Daddy, do we have this little chess piece? I think we're missing the chess piece. Oh, uh, we only get three, but you know what I just realized? We had jazz playing this entire time, like really nice, smooth jazz, and it was off the entire oh, time. And we, we were making reference to jazz the entire evening so far. We've been on for a little over an hour, and uh, absolutely no jazz. Yeah. 
So you can see actually to the right hand side of the stream, we've got Cooper's bear costume as well as his superhero costume. So these right here, so this was his bear. We cannot wait to put these on him and show off to you guys his cuteness. And then I, what I love about the superhero, and I was talking about this earlier, but we took him to a Halloween parade and to the little arms and then every time we'd run to be like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so it was really, really cute. Cooper is going through his toy box. He's also trying to um, look for additional Fritos in his treat box here. Talk about a treat stream. Treat stream. That's a good one. I do like that one. Mommy's got jokes sometimes. Saya, thank you very much. Saya saying you have a good radio voice. Theme. The funny thing is that I'm the one who does occasional radio and Joe has the radio voice. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you know what? Forget you. I'm going to completely knock everything over. Came in and wrecked it. He's like, I missed your stuff up, Mom. I've also been told that I have quite the face for radio, too, if I do say so myself. Wait, he just came in and, like, barrel goes over. But I'm going to show you guys. So this was finished. So it does have these removable parts here, right? But this here also has sliding parts. So you can hide things in the under compartments. You can put these on top of here and have him lift those off. So I'm going to do a whole mix of different compartments with different treats. And I'm going to make him find them. And I'm not going to show him where they are. Would you like me to move the camera so you can show the people? Yes, we can do that. So All right. I'm gonna actually put some extras. So the really hard ones are the ones underneath. So what I'm doing, and I'll just show you. So under these sliding parts, right? I can hide a tree under there. So there's a few extra in the ones that are underneath because those are a little harder for him to get to. He's also got these. These are easy ones. So as soon as he knocks that off, there's a tree out. Pull this way a little. So yeah, there's the, the Tritos under there. So even here, like, just... So he's gonna know where to shift his puzzle pieces. Are you ready? What do we... Are you... All right, all right! I hear you. He's hyping it up. I hear you. All right, guys, ready? Come here. <laughs> he's so excited. You wait. Hey, Pa. Oh, thank you so much. You ready? One. Wait. Two. Three, go! He's like super jazzed. He's like, I got this. Legends of the Hidden Temple Who? He is like, finishing this. Using that sniffer. Sometimes we'll also play things like hide and seek and tell him to use his sniffer to find us. He's honestly, he's very, very smart. You distracted? I'm like, he's so, so smart, and he's like, who do I Dropped one. Oh, there you go. He's like, move! Nice job. It, it makes you want puzzles. Honestly, yeah. You mean puzzles? He really is the best at this point. I want to get another one. I want to get him a little steamer. Good boy. He is like whipping these open. He's like, you can't stop me. He's all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Thank you. I was waiting for <laughs> You're putting it under your back. Hey, you have them. You have them. Does he still have more there? He did, and he had some like lobster. Hold my bed. All right. Good boy. Hi for this good boy. He's like, I gotta check my snippy snooter to make sure there's no little treats. Oh, no. oh. I done knocked over the camera. Okay, what is this? All right. So guys, you can choose if you have something you want us to play. Do we can show you some of his new toys that Daddy picked up for him today? So for those who just came in a little while ago, once again, welcome. 
Uh, so these are, uh oh, there we go. There's a little higher. All right. Hey, hey, Cooper, ready? All done, all done. Good job. He does know a couple little different signs that give away Zilla. You know, we're gonna try, we're gonna try and do this. Goodness. So we got these today. So there's a, a mummy, there's a cat, there's a pumpkin, and there's a candy corn. He loves squeakers. It's kind of known that corgis love squeakers. And he will actually rip these open and pull the squeakers. So I call it a squeakerectomy. So he will actually go in, he will rip apart the stitches with his teeth, he will hold it down, pull out those stitches, remove the floof, and then find his squeaker. Are you ready? You want it? You ready? Go! So he loves these. This one... Oh, this one sounds like your pig. Look at this, this Instagram booty pose. Look at this. Looking back at it. Can I have a high five? Thanks, man. Focus like over there. Oh, good job. Um, Cooper's a little bit spoiled. This is his toy box of bajillion toys. Guys, be like Cooper. Hydrate. And yes, he drinks salted water. Like I said, he's spoiled. What am I gonna do with this water? Maybe leave the water for the food inside. Okay. He's like, I don't know what to do. There's so many. Uh oh, he's got the squeaky ball. Oh, he brought his wubba. I love this thing. Cooper is like a snake though, because he will literally like open his jaw and get around this. The funny, or I shouldn't say funny thing too, but the ball he just had, he has another one like it, and it's squishy, but he literally will like get stuck on it sometimes. Oh, Ronan's saying, who spoils the dog the most? I filet minion. You have. I legitimately bought this dog filet minion. Aw, oh, thank you so much for doing I'm gonna share for uh, sharing those bits. Aw, uh, good in the dictionary, you find a picture of Cooper. I agree. I don't think it spoils him more, cause, um, hi, Heathen. Joe, Joe has, oh, by the way, yes, I am wearing corgi socks. Um, Joe has bought him filet mignon before. Um, but I'll cook homemade food pretty often. I think I'm, I'm more guilty of giving Cooper table scraps. Yeah, booty, yeah, he's showing off that that Momo, that beach. So I'm I'm more guilty for giving him like table scraps and snacks, but like Joe will go out and get him plain donuts. <laughs> like he will go out and get them for him. Yep. Um, what else? He, he gets Cooper a lot of toys. I, he's he's pretty well loved and spoiled in general, but I I would say. Probably Joe by a little bit. So we're talking about peaches, right? I think we've got I think we've got a peach emote too. Emote for, for subscribers. Hey. Are you in time out? So you guys remember I said he's very smart, right? He knows a lot of words. Hey Cooper! I'm gonna eat your whipwits. I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat your whipwits. Come here, hey, Jimmy! Jimmy eat your whipwits! Come here! Hey, look! Loves a good nap, 
and he is literally always down to take a nap with mommy if I ask him. Always DTN. Yeah, if I'm like, hey, do you want to take a nap? He's like, yes, and he will literally go to bed, and it's funny because if, say, Joe has like a late stream and we're home and he's like, it's bedtime, he will go and look at me and put himself to bed. Hey, Cooper, do you want to do some, do you want to do some, uh, some tricks? Should we do some tricks for some treats? All right, come here. Let's go. It's Gordon. All right, hey. Hey, Cooper, look. A treat? Can you stand? Can you get up? He's like, I can. I don't but, want uh, to. Oh, uh, see, that was sass. That was sass. That so, was a whole bunch of sass. Corgis are also very known for their sass, their side eye. Do you want a treat? Sit. You got to do up? Up. Up. All right, thank you. Can you go? You bring them a little bit forward to pump the kid. Oops, can you pump me? Come here. All right, hey. Oh, he's dead. So earlier he went to go die and he fell off his bed. Oh, come here, ready? Oh, I was wondering what that was. I'm like, <laughs> oh, Lord. That's a whole bunch of booty. Oh, my booty? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's like my, yeah, that's my pants. All right, let's see. Can you turn for me? Can you spin? Can you spin? I, I know you can. Can you turn? Oh, it's, ah. hey, distracted pup. Turn. Look, I have a treat. Oh, he's being sassy. I think if you take away the bed, he might, uh. He, he did it earlier. Because ah. right now, that's like a. Ah. <laughs> 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 see, I'll just hold on to it. Hold on to it. Turn. I have what you want. Turn. Turn. Spin. Thank ah, thank you so much. Alright, can you sit? Sit. Can you lay down? Can you crawl? Crawl, 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 crawl. Good boy. And can I have this one? Thank you. Can I have this one? Oh, thank you. Ready? Can you sit for me? Sit. Woody. Sit. Sit. Oh, that's the sound. Hey, defiant. Sit. He's like, sit. No. You okay, want this? You can sit. Come here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to the water for those hundred corgo bits. Ow. Oh, Cooper. Come here. He's like, I don't, I'm not your, I'm not your puppet. I get to do what you want. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Cooper, look, one treat. You know what? You know what's funny. So this is where where Joe is more, which spoils him more. So I will make him do a bunch of like tricks for treats, and then Cooper, uh, Joe will be like, "Here you go, hey, I'm the mean mommy. Hey, look it. I'm gonna put it right here. Hey, you leave it, Cooper. Hey, okay, you leave it. You gotta wait. I'm gonna scare the butt. Ooh. Ah, I said wait. All right, ready? Here. You did a lot of treats. I mean, a lot of tricks. I can't talk today. Hey, you want another one? Hey. You got come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do you want me to give it a shot? Come here. I want to do his nose. He hates this one. Thank you. Can you sit? Sit. Thank you. I need you to stay. Wait. Oh, he's totally over it. Wait. Sit. Good catch! Nicole, you are spot on. Like, he's over it. He's, he's done. He just wants the treats and that's it. He's like a circus performer. Alright, ready? Oh. Boop! Do you want to show them your hedgehog? Let's be So I was saying it before. Um, these are new toys, so he doesn't know yet. But at home, he, um... Oh my god, it's RPG! Yep. So we have a running joke. This is um, our chameleon named Harris. He's Chameleon Harris. Chameleon Harris. Oh my gosh, you love Harris, don't you? So he knows some of the names of his toys. Um, like I said, a lot of these are new ones, so he doesn't have names for them yet that he's associated. But at home, if we said, get your bear, or get your puppy, or get your ball, he knows all those words, and he actually knows exactly which toy it is. I'm gonna give some money to you. He is not lacking enrichment. 
More meals. And he will act like he's starving. Alright, should we put up a poll for which costume we should put on first? Sure! Did you only bring those two? Yeah, I only brought those two. It's Christmas sweater. For Christmas, we've got the soft jazz and a little fireplace, and uh, him and his Christmas sweater. Uh, the photo of him in his Christmas sweater is on um, Instagram, as is him in his uh, onesie Christmas jammies. I tried to get us matching Christmas jammies last year, but um, Target was sold out, so I got... I got what I could, so Joe and I have matching. And it was funny because the woman's like, I only have um, the women's one. And I was like, I don't care, give me two. And they're basically unisex, you can't tell. But then I have uh, Cooper's footy pajamas. All right, guys, a poll has just hit the chat. Head over there, right there on our chat, you'll find our poll. There are two options for you. We get it up for five minutes. Number one is the super dog costume. If I may, can I get the super dog costume? Right, finest. Right over here. The finest super dog costume that ever did super dog. He has the nice little arms that go with it too. So it looks like he's doing like a nice little superhero shuffle. It's a cute superhero costume. And then next, we've got the bear. Which Stephanie is now wearing the bear, but you gotta get in front of the camera yep. if you're gonna put it on. My big noggin, but this Easy. is the bear. I had tried to get the bear on him earlier. I got the head on. And then we got the bear costume. Here is the cute bear costume. So again, you guys get to vote. So over the next four minutes now, we've got which costume you would like Cooper to wear first. He does look like a little Ewok in it. It's honestly super cute. There's actually a photo of him on his Insta where it. Oh my gosh, these are hearts. Oh, these are cute. Oh my gosh. I actually have a picture of what Joe's about to do. What is this like this hat? Oh, it's these. I got you so many new treats. He does look like a little Ewok, though. It's so cute. And now Daddy is modeling it. A little lower, Daddy? A little lower. All right. Who wore it better? Yeah, is it going to be me or is it going to be Cooper? Who better? That's the real question. Big Container Weekly is going to vote for Cooper. I don't know. Hey, ready? Back up. Back up. Hey, Cooper. Back up. Back it up. Back up. Back up. Ready? One, two. Three! Go eat it! Uh-oh. It was funny, though. Aw, Cooper could wear a paper bag and it'd be perfect. He's literally the cutest, I know. I love corgis. But I've met other corgis and I'm like, they're so cute. My boy is handsomer. And maybe it's because he's mine. I really do want to get him a little sister, though. All right, guys, that poll is fairly close. Bear and Super Dog. Only one vote is putting Bear in front. So you guys, you count. make sure. This is the real election that we wanted in 2020. This is really the one. No, I'm joking. This was the most, this is the second most important election of 2020, but this is the one we really wanted. Which one, Bear or Super Dog? There's... I think we should be able to. See, when we're on, it's hard for, like, us to catch it. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Are you ready? Turn. So he's looking at me because I'm his toy. He's like, he's like, whatever you want, Mom. Hey. <laughs> hey, well, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. You gotta come this way. Oh my gosh, can you see? Go boy. Oh, it takes me this one. Take you. Back it up. Back it up. Sit. Lay down. Stay. On your marks. Get set. Go. So, you guys, my favorite thing is at night when Joe and I go to brush our teeth before bed. He will come in and be like, "Hello, please. Can I can I brush my can I brush my teeth?" And he will literally look at you so sad until you brush his teeth. And it's the cutest. I have a picture of him actually like holding his toothbrush. So you just want to show the people the back of your head today. Oh my gosh. You did me a scare, Dad. I know 
Send a GoPro. Actually, Aaron said that we should put a GoPro on me or on the dog. I mean, that'll work. I'm assuming she meant me because she was like, put it on that filthy animal. So I'm assuming that it was me. Because <laughs> he's clean. Oh, so we talked about having to spell words around the house. So, one of Cooper's favorite things is a T U B B Y. A-B-A-T-H. Oh no! Super dog and bear tied! Oh, well, I guess we'll put both on at some point. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to just put both of them on. Alright, the first person to say which uh, costume. First person, super dog or bear. Whoever says it first in the chat, that goes first. Here's the tiebreaker. Bear. Bear one. That's it. Bear one. You know what, Hima? That's so funny. Because in Brazil, it's the same way. It's funny you bring that up. So yeah, guys, so if I mention the T-U-B-U-Y word, he goes bananas. But just to show you how smart he is... <clears throat> you missed it, bud. If I, if I mention that word, and he doesn't get one like that night or the next night, so every single time he goes and he rolls in cat poop to be like, well, now you're gonna give me one. Yeah, he'll You've find... You've got no choice. He'll find cat poop if we don't give him a T-U-B-U-Y after we say the word. And it's insane, because it happens every time. Like, if within two days he has not gotten one, he's like, oh yeah? Oh yeah? Alright then, I'm gonna force your hand. He's too smart. Um, he knows the Starbucks drive through He knows... what else? He knows when we turn onto my father-in-law's street. He knows where we are for, like, lots of things. He's just so smart. So I don't know if all corgis have it, but he has that little spot on his head. A lot of them have the saddle. It's called their fairy saddle. His dot, so I call that little spot his kissing spot. And that's where I always give him little smooches. Oh my god, you guys, he hates kisses. Like, he'll give you them occasionally, but if you go to kiss him, he gets so grumbly. But then if, like, Joe and I are kissing or hugging, he's like, hey, wait. Oh, oh, affection. I'm gonna put the bear on him, but he literally, he already looks like such a bear. Happy little bear. Although when he's feeling sassy, there's a picture of him. Hey, well, we'll get the superhero one on him as well. We're gonna do both. So there's a picture of him, and it was Super Bowl Sunday. And I made him take a picture with a, a doggy football that he had, and he did not want to take the picture. And if you look, he is giving me such a, like, mom, I don't want to take this photo. Like, such a sassy look. It's the funniest thing. I wish we could do Super Bear. It's, it's too much to get on it. His legs are too stubby. You know what? I know how I'm going to get rich. I'm going to make a costume company for just corgis. Corgs are us. Because every time I try to buy him clothes or anything... If I get the length right, the legs are wrong. It's like the, the proportions are- it's like jumpsuits. Did he get all of them? No, he has more in the first column. That one? Mm -hmm. He knows too, and he'll blem it too. There you go. But he'll double check them all to make sure that he's gotten them all. He doesn't love this one as much, but he is very smart about figuring it out. <laughs> Gotta flip it! You know how Oprah does like her favorite things for Christmas every year? I think we should do this about um, for Cooper, like Cooper's like list. So Hema, um, we're gonna we're gonna have him wear both. Yeah. It's just gonna be bare first. Yeah, and then Hema, the what I was saying is you were talking about um, the compulsory voting. We have mandatory voting in Brazil as well. 
Other side, baby. You got one more on the other side. A whole lot of dog palm, or dad palm. Can't talk. I love it, just like poking his head through to get them. There you go. Oh, it went the other way. Where is it? Go, go find it. Good boy. All right, hey, you ready for your costume, Mom? Come here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for those bits. Come here. I get the fun job. Come here, babies. Will you do it for a treat? For these yapple nanas? It's called a yapple nana. It's an apple and banana, but it's a, it's a yapple. I guess because dogs yap. Look what I have, okay? Look. Oh, come here. Dad, you want to take the mad scientist? Sure. Yeah, we should do like Christmas opera does hers. Hey, come here. Ready? Okay. He's looking at me like, why'd you do that, Dad? Yeah, no. He'll, he'll, he'll follow you wherever you say to go. Hey, Cooper, come here. Come on. He loves his dad, and he will literally do whatever dad wants. Hey, except for right now, because he wants. <laughs> hey there, meatloaf. No. Nothing for all treats, except for whatever you want me to do at that one particular moment. <laughs> oh, Honka, you're the cutest little girl. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. <laughs> okay, wait. Want to do this one? He's backing into... <laughs> What's happening? Okay, we're almost... We need that, like, technical difficulties <laughs> soundtrack, Our right? first star is, um, is being very difficult. He's, uh, being a bit of a prima donna. A prima donna. Okay, give me that bean. Give me that paw. Oh my gosh. You're lemon the heck out of me, man. Okay, stand up. Stand up. All right, the treat. Come here. All right, come here. Come here. Come here. Right there. No. Come here, mummy bear. Come here. Come. He's like, my, my body don't work no more. Come, Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, no. Came out. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You gotta turn. Turn. Show the beep. His, his, you gotta do his uh, head part again. <laughs> well, he also got his beep, though. Oh, no. Come here. We are having technical difficulties. How about we do this? Let's just... Uh... <laughs> Head alone earlier. We'll just yeah. Let's just do the the head. We'll get this on him like this. Get those beans out. Pull it up. There you go. See? Okay, that's fine. At least this way he can move around. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Turn around. Turn around. Come here. Turn around. Okay. Can you sit? No. Oh, there we go. What a good. I love you. What a good boy. Can I but see I a treat like for the right good now. boy? Can I see a treat for the good boy? Here we are. Oh, look at the bear. You? I don't have to like you right now, Betty Bear. What's that from? I do not remember. How to lose a guy in 10 days. I love you. I don't have to like you. Hi. Oh, poor baby. Look over here. Come on. Hey, look up. Boop. Oh, boop. He booped you guys. I got Corgo booped. All right, come back. Turn around again. One more I'm time. watching Turn the around. replay of it, and it's so cute. Sit. 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 If he's gotten taller, sit. Oh. I see he used to fit in this costume better because let me find the picture. Let's see. Let me find this. This Corgo pick. Okay, right here. Right here. Hello, beautiful people. I'm a bear. I'm a Corgi bear. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cooper. Hey. Hey, Cooper. 
He's like, fork you guys. And so get on and die. It's like, um, Spiggle with me, like, it's so fluffy, I wanna die. Alright, I'm gonna go drop this in the chat real quick on my personal. It's easier to type me it in. Alright, guys, go to that link real quick. Two tap. He's a drinky bear right now. Uh, so that's a better bear picture of him. It's so funny, actually, because my father-in-law printed that one up and actually put it into a frame. It's pumped up one of Joe's pictures. Yeah, one of my pictures is like a kid. <laughs> my dad was like, we're just going to cover this one up and just put a picture of the dog. You think it's your baseball photo? And he was like, nah. And I was like, we love this one more. His hey, Christmas here. sweater or his Come Christmas here. jammies. Come here. And covered up another picture of Joe. Can I have a treat up? <gasps> you can have as many as you like. Come here. Look what I have. Look what I have. Hey, let me bear. Look. I swear this used to sit on him better. I don't really think we ever gutted on him long enough. I think he was kind of like over it very quickly. Like Nicole said before, like he, he was over it. Look at this angle. This is looking like. Okay. <laughs> That's the thought right there, guys. Can someone just like, you know. Screen grab that because, or some, somebody clip that for me because that's that needs to be a giphy. Oh, on the camera, so if you bring it closer, he may want it right off. Look it. Nope, poop. <laughs> poop. <laughs> that's it. That's funny shot, yeah. That's what you guys came for right there, that one moment. Alright, shall we take this one off? Bloop. He was like, yup. <laughs> when he wants it off, he knows. Hey, high five, you did a great job. Boop. He's like, my life is short. Boop. Can you turn? Okay. Like, don't mind me, Dad. I'm short. I'm short. Am too. It's okay. So we're gonna get the super dog one on him too. He's I can feel the breath <laughs> on my arm. You guys are getting the up close personal shots. Wait, you wait, hey. Wait. Oh, he's he, like <laughs> he burped while trying to get that paw. He's like, let me just really quickly make some room. Oh, Lee, thank you so much. You missed some pretty good moments. You'll have to watch the recaps, but we've had some great doggo moments. We should do this like once a month. Some corgi de-stress time. Like, you know what's funny? So two colleges that I've gone to have had a thing during finals week where you could go and like play with dogs like they would bring in dogs from like like rescue dogs and you would literally be able to just like cuddle with them and pet them and like be dressed it was fantastic all right so who wants to see the super dog costume let's get some hype in the chat if you're looking forward to the super dog costume all right you ready so daddy go this way a little bit back up I'm gonna... so i talked earlier but he can do this come here you ready hey this Ready? Jump! Okay, that was not a good jump. Jump! <laughs> jump! Wouldn't be over. Okay, okay, you okay, you so bossy. You're so bossy. Okay. <laughs> so I talked about earlier as you write his uh, his trigger words. So ready? Can I eat your whippets? Can I, let me see, let me see those pipwits. I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> Shall we do a super dog? Yes. Alright, where did super dog go? On left hand side of the gut. That, that's some really good peach action right there. It's called a Momo. De Momo. Dab booty. 
My favorite is like, I'm gonna say, I know it's a family friendly thing, but I call it his Instagram pillow pose, where he will literally like put his like front down and pop his booty and then like look back at it. Like, oh, this? I'm telling you, I, I've taught him that that's not how you get to Not the path to fame. All right, hey babies. <gasps> Go me, I got a treat. Do you want a treat? He's like, not for whatever you want me to do. I'm loving this, like, Bossa Nova, although it's him, so it's Bossy Nova. Yeah. <gasps> Treats, come here. He's like, I see the costume. Come here. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay. <laughs> Get back. Alright, pop. Thank you. Oh, where are Alright, that's what you are. Did your beans get fatter or something? Why do they have such a hard time? Still, mister. Hold on. Alright, give me this one. Oh, thanks. Everybody, look, look, look. Right, look. Alright, give me this paw. No, the other paw. The, <laughs> give me the other paw. Guys, being a paw celebrity's mom, not easy. What's with the seductive elevator music? It's relaxing, quirky jazz. It's a genre. Give me this one. Leaf, we were talking about it earlier. After all the nonsense we've been through for the last four years and the really big amount of stress that's been going on with the uh, election recently, we figured let's take it down a notch. We'll play some jazz. We'll get some corgi going on. I can't think of I can't think of a better way to wind down after a uh, after a stressful week. If you you scooch it, pause. That's your own fault. Come on. Okay. You stand up like that. Okay. Okay. I gotta get it up to your elbows. You lay down on me. Yeah. Get the front stuck in his mouth at first. Come here. Oh, the shot from above is great. You can see the whole cape. Da 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 da. Super hoop. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a cork. It's a cork. Ready? Make the arms run. Make the arms run. You know what it is. Turn. Da da da. <laughs> he has easier movement in this one because there's nothing on the head. You smile again. Daddy. Ow. Ow, that was my finger. <laughs> kind of cute, right? Like I said, he's got some Christmas sweaters. He's got some corgi Christmas jammies. What else does he have? I think that's mostly it, right? He needs more outfits, guys. You guys can drop suggestions. Let us know what you want to see for corgi outfits, and we'll we'll model them. A BB Yoda. I think we could do that. If we can find it. Like I said, the hardest thing. I'm literally gonna start a corgi fashion line because the hardest thing is finding dog clothing in corgi proportions because he's as long as a but he's not as tall and then if you have things that are like short like supposed to be for his size this doesn't work he has a hot dog oh we do have a hot dog and an alligator i've only seen pictures but those were when he was a baby i don't know if they still fit taco dog he is a taco dog he eats he eats taco throw me a treat Good throw. Yeah. I hope that I kept the camera nice and uh, still oh, for that I'm one. looking right at you. So we've got a, a... Sorry, I was trying to get the Trito into view. Hold your palm right under it like this. Yeah. Is that the shot? Maybe. If you go up a little, you can see the dog other way. Well, he's going to come to the tree. All right, ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, come on. Come get it. Come on. Come get it. <laughs> the coordination to try and keep this camera still catch my while catching the treats that you're throwing at me. 
My throws have been okay so far, too. I'm three for three. Let's just get that straight right now. Me too, though. My, my, you guys, so the other day I tried to throw something. He, like, tried to throw it in the trash a few minutes, and he's like, do you want to give it a shot? I'm like, yeah. He's in our kitchen. I go to throw it. It goes completely to the right and literally goes behind our entertainment center. I'm like, well. Well. Four for four. Dang. Is this Wendy's? <laughs> Not sponsored. That's crazy, Hema. 30 Australian dollars? Boy and his dog. Just a boy and a super dog. Average boy, super dog. No, I'm kidding. Daddy's more than average. Daddy's not your average Joe. Trademark. <laughs> Lee says, hi, Daddy. <laughs> oh, big burp. Super burp. Yeah. Do you guys see the amount of happy? He is so happy. He loves his daddy. You guys have no clue. Like, he loves me. But, I mean, he'd push me in front of a train. And he would keep daddy. Get on! They're great dogs. Honestly, Hill Herd and Boss are big dogs. When my nieces and nephews come to visit, he, like, he herds them. He, like, runs around and, like, gets them to the place. So I had fake nails on a couple weeks back, and he was laying on me in bed, and he was kind of hyper. And I was scratching him, and I started slowing down, and he fell right to sleep. He is a big snorer. Like, you would not think such a small dog could snore so loud. You have to have, like, a glass of wine, a fluffy robe. That's not the thumbnail for this video, nothing is. Look at this over there. Do you guys see how happy he is? It's like, I love this. I love you, Dad. It's so funny. So, like, Joe could be gone like 10 minutes, and Cuckoo will act like, oh my god, my world ended. And you're back, and my world came back, and I love you so much. He'll samba butt. He does. He will wiggle his butt so fast, and then he, like, bounces on his front paws, and then he'll eventually, like, stop to stretch and yawn until Aru. I also taught him to Aru if a train horn goes off. So, it's so funny you say that, Hema, because earlier I was talking about people, so somebody asked, you know, is he pure, pure corgi? And I said, yes, he's a red-headed tricolor. But people constantly ask if he is, um... Put on the hedgehog. Part German Shepherd. That's a good shot right there. That's a happy boy. He does, and it's so funny because we were watching videos the other day, and we found one where it was like an actual like German Shepherd Corgi mix. Hey, do you want to take off your cups too? Wanna take it off? Oh my gosh, he's so happy. You see? See one, two, three. Whoop! He pulled the paw. Do you guys see that? Watch, ready? All I have to do is do this one. Take it off. Okay. Pull you up. Pull you up. stuck. Ready? One, two, three. Does that open? It just takes the cape off. It takes the cape? Yeah. One, two, three. Record! I love his chest blue, too. Are you guys talking about how poopy his belly is? Your belly. Oh, you had all those Tritos, and you had a bowl of food, too. Hey, Daddy, are you hungry? Hey, I, I haven't eaten yet, yeah. Do you want to eat the Wizwits? Oh, no, nah, that's okay. I'll pass for now. <laughs> you want to eat your food first? I do. I will, eventually. You're not a job. What are you talking about? Good boy. Hey. Okay. He's so fresh. 
He's like, I got dad. That's all I really need right now. Not into doing tricks. You're not turning tricks anymore? Yeah, I'm just doing, uh, I'm just doing me a relax with dad. I forget which ball it is, that it, his that it is, but he literally got his teeth, like, stuck in a ball. And it happened one time when Joe was on streamer at, um, the old stream room. And I'm outside with the dog going, like, oh my gosh, we might have to get dad. And... He had his teeth stuck in the ball, and I was like, oh my god, I don't want to break his teeth. He's looking at you like, hey, that looks like a pretty good crunch you have there. It'd be a shame if I were to have some. You gotta leave it. He didn't even notice it that you Wait. put it there. You leave it? Okay. He's such a foxy boy. Let this puppy sit. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Look at the side eye. You gotta wait. Okay. Jenny, what's going on? Thank you very much for tuning in. We figured after all the stress of dying in Among Us last night that we would take it down a notch with a little bit of Cooper. He'll like ever so gingerly just do it, and then other times he's exaggerating. He's like, take the ball. Go down to catch. One. I had a good time doing it. Oops. That was mommy's call. That was a bad throw. You missed it, Jenny. We had him in a superhero costume. We had him in a bear costume. All kinds of fun stuff. Doing tricks. You turn. 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 Thank you. Dad's a good turn. Can you lay down? Thanks. Can you crawl? Thank you. Two. Three. Oh, that went for the camera pick. Did you really? Joking, but I oh. went. We joked earlier about getting like a, a furbo. Wait. You wait. Okay. Oh, you almost caught it. Almost. Sometimes he'll catch it like, I, I'd say like nine out of ten times. But yeah, we joked about getting a furbo, and then earlier Joe was like, no, because if people have the controls, it's gonna have dog obedience. This one. And I have the other one. Oh, thank you. Okay, you ready? We're gonna play our game. You gotta remember to use your sniffer. You knocked it out of my hand. That was a pure guess. There was no strategy there. That was a pure guess. Actually, he's a purebred. <laughs> he is a loaf. Purebred loaf. A loaf. Sniff. Hey, okay, wait. Sniff. Which one? You got sniff. Is it that one? Uh, it's this one? Oh, good job. Wow. I still don't believe that he's good at this. I think he's just lucky. Lucky a lot. All right, you ready? Turn, turn for me. You ready? Hey, turn. Turn, honey, turn. All right, wait. You ready? It's Look. Skyrim show. Got sniff first. Sniff. Don't hop. Sniff. This one. Good job. You don't even know yet. You don't even know. Hey, step. There's nothing. There's nothing in that one. 
No, there's nothing there. Look. And nothing. Thanks. <laughs> nothing in them beans. Yeah, so he's he's a full corgi. He's a uh, red-headed tricolor. So the redhead is for this sort of auburny color that he's got instead of the traditional kind of golden color. And then he's a tricolor because he has the black. <laughs> yeah. And he's 100% good boy. Kicks it. Not chomp, it kicks it. Why are you looking at me? He's waiting for you to be like, okay, yeah. I don't like these ones. You gotta catch it this time. Okay? I have faith in you. Believe me. Oh, you almost. Cookies are your favorite, us too. Okay. Sit. When you sit, you have a new time. Sit. Sit your butt down. Sit your boonda. Sit your butt. Sit your butt. Do you have uh, boys or girls, Denny? Did you get them at the same time? I want to get another one. I want to get a girl. I've never had a girl dog. I've had only boy dogs. Alright, Daddy Kim, shop this. Earlier you caught it, but I think you missed the shot. Okay. Uh, uh, almost. He did it earlier. He only does when he feels like, yeah, we got some sass earlier from Cooper because he didn't want to do any more tricks. Hey, Cooper, do you want some water? What if mommy gets to her bottle? Everybody take a water break. Stay hydrated. We gotta get like the puppy bowl. You know, like they do the puppy bowl every year? And they have the water dish bowl. <sighs> Both of boys, your first one passed away, you know, boy and a girl. How did yours get along? And I'm sorry for the loss of your person years ago. It's never easy. I've had two and it's never easy. Good boy, honey. Yeah. Okay, bed. You getting tired? Getting close to bed? Okay, ready? Oop, look. You turn? Okay. Look back at it. found a tree under the couch. This is entertainment all of its own. Um, make sure that it is a tree, just to be safe. Hey, 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 let mama help. You're not getting in the way, let me put you up. You good me. Good me. Let me look. Baby, there's nothing down there. Just um, put the bed over there. Try to make it where you can't um, get at it. Hey, Cooper, let's get your attention for something else. You ready? Hey, come here. Oh, man. Look at this. Hey, it's Cooper. Hey, I'm sure. Aw, that's amazing. She says, Louie loves his big sister more than his humans. Good catch. Get 
this always makes me because he literally will become like a snake. Unhinge his jaw to get his entire mouth around it. Look at this. <laughs> so ridiculous. And he will like drop it down the stairs at my in-laws. Funny is if we're playing like X with him, that's rather he will get like so mad. Oh my gosh! Hey, dude, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, they're very food driven. Cooper loves food. But yeah, he will literally like every time you throw the toy, he. Good burn. Mm -hmm. Just gonna take a nap on you. Yeah. Is that what you have to say? I guess. <laughs> Which one has it? So, Jenny, do yours uh, perform squeaker ectomies as well? Because Cooper loves to do uh, squeaker removal surgery. He's a specialist. But no need for a referral. Oh. I get it. I get it. Full meal right there. With the loaf and the wave weights and the drumsticks. I like you have the treats in your pocket there. <laughs> I do. It's like SeaWorld, right? Yeah. Let's get your hedgehog. These corgi things that like they love squeakers. Yeah. Oh, he gets sad. Aww. No, Cooper, and it's so funny because the second he gets it out, we have to find where he's put it and take it away. Because he will literally, like, start to, like, bite on the squeaker. But he's funny because he'll hold it with his paws and he'll literally just rip and pop stitches. And you'll just hear him do it and then all of a sudden he just pulls it out. He doesn't eat any of the fluff, but he makes a big pile. Have you already got him? He's trying. Corgi attacks Hedgehog on stream. Hi, I wish you guys could hear. I don't need him. Unless you get him to tear it in front of the microphone, chances are that's not. Does this swing? It swings, but not a, a great amount. It swings about as much as this. It's jazz, not swing. It's jazz. I, I'd, uh. Can't believe it. I'd leave it. We've also got noise canceling going on as well, so. But you'll literally have like pop, pop, pop. You'll hear pop, pop, pop. Mm hmm. He's an extra toasted loaf. This poor hedgehog, he didn't live like more than two hours. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him, Sati Kurek. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Oh, he's so tough. Louie will just take it once uh, she's got the squeaker out. That's funny. <gasps> I'm gonna get him. Well, Stay a while 
too for bringing your community to us and for that awesome raid. We really, really appreciate it. Go enjoy your curry. And thank you so much. We will enjoy our Cooper stream. Thank you very much, Saiwata. We gave a shout out over on the tweeters. So greatly appreciate it again. Yes. Do you need more water? He has his own, like, water dispenser here at the office, too. Because he's spoiled. We really appreciate all that. So Cooper's funny, so there's a bunch of cats in the neighborhood at Joseph's house. He will like run up to them and like be like, oh, big mean dog, and they're like, whatever, bro. A cool story. And then like they will run, and then he will scream for murder. If challenged. If they, like, stand their ground, he's like, Oh, my neck! Oh, I need a lawyer! I need a person in three. Dead! Whoop! Good throw! Hey! I was telling them earlier how, uh, he won me over by, uh, telling me I couldn't meet Cooper until after several days. And how I won Cooper over by buying pizza. Oh, yeah. I didn't tell the full story. But... Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing you did. Corgi favorite, yes. Yeah, I would literally like buy pizza and feed him it. And I was the pizza lady, so quickly won Cooper over. That and I'd buy him some toys. We had one of these, but it looked like a fidget spinner. So it had three rings, and he loved that thing, and I would like fling it. Joe's old house had a like a long hallway, and I would fling it down the hallway, and he would go like running. He sounds like a little train, and uh, he'd go running for it. <gasps> Look what I got, Cooper. Cooper. Boop, boop. Yeah, I'm okay with her. She provides the pizza and food. Exactly. Yeah, I'd bring him food. I'd bring him toys, and he was like, "This whole place is enough." She's okay. Let's switch it up just a little bit. Let's see. Dinner time jazz. We could jazz and dance. The elegant category. The what? There's a category that's like elegant. <laughs> well. Elegant. Mysterious. Busy and frantic. Those are individual. It's sneaking. Casino. Sexy. Snowy holidays. You just want to squeeze away for no reason. Trust me, you do until you don't. Go ahead, Cooper, you get it. Eat You. Oh, you're so tough. This feels like late night adult swim, like in old school. You have the commercials. You don't you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, just to have on a shelf it's like squeak. No, I mean I would use it totally to like do stimming. Like I would absolutely do that. 
stick with his cat tree. That would like calm me to have uh, the toy to squeak. People will never expect it to squeak toy. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be like, Nick, like, why do you have a cat tree? It's like, I don't have a cat. So we've got, uh, we've got some friends, uh, older brother, younger brother, and for Christmas, every year, uh, they have a, a it's gift. A great gift. They have a gift that they'll give to one another. But they have to use it for a year, And right? they have to use that gift for an entire year. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It needs to be prominently displayed within your apartment or wherever you live. Exactly. And at one time, the older brother got uh, the younger brother a cat hotel. Yeah. So a cat tree, cat hotel, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Tops. He doesn't own a cat. So at the, time, at the time, he was single. So anytime he would bring over a significant other, the significant other would be like, you need a cat tower. You know, you have a cat, and then he'd have to go, no, no, I don't have a cat. Like, I mean, you have a cat tree if you don't have a cat. And then was it him that got his brother the, the one of him as a shower curtain? Oh, he got his older brother the most inappropriate things ever. It was a shower curtain. No no nudity, but it was just like him. Him, his face his, prominent. But no, I think it was like like him shirtless and his face smiling with like thumbs up, eyes, a shower curtain. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that was good. They get pretty creative. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. And you got to use it for an entire year. Prominently. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. It's not like you can be like, oh yeah, this is this thing my brother got me, and this in the corner. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get gifts for Cooper that we have to try to utilize for an entire year. We gotta try. It lasts that long. We gotta keep it alive. Haha, <laughs> ha, ha, no, I'm just weird. I have a cat tree. I like the decor it provides. <laughs> <laughs> See, he got rid of that. Now he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give Daddy a headshot. Oh, ready? One, two. You can throw it back to me. Ready? Three. Behind. Two. Back to him. Three. Good job. It's so funny because there's a couple ways to get Cooper like super excited. One is to do what we just did. The other is to tell him he can't have it. And it's like a kid, and he's like, "Hey, Cooper, give me that toy." Yeah, Jenny. Honestly, so toy. the Tuffy toys, like this one, they call them Tuffy Ultimate Gear. It's like seven times six. Yeah. He loves these. The one that I bought that was like a big tip has three rings. It lasted nearly a year of being broken. So those are, they're a little bit more expensive than some of the others, but they're really good. And they're fun fetch toys as well. Um, they're really good. Joe lets him win and then tells him how strong he is and like, oh, win! His little nub will wiggle like, yeah, I beat you, I'm so strong. Like, I like to go bed. Yeah, and it's nice, and they do have squeakers in them. I don't think he's ever gotten a squeaker out of one. He's definitely punctured them. I have to laugh, though, because we have a toy that we bought him, and it's the keep squeaking even when punctured. He broke it the first day, and it's never squeaked again. Oh, you win! What a good boy, you win! So strong. Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, they're red and black, and they're called Tuffy Toys. And it does, has like a 7x stitching and... Come on, get it! Good catch, baby. He's like, there's so many toys! I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, Cooper's other favorite thing is to get a, a toy completely covered in slobber after playing fetch and then drop it on, like, your bare foot. That's a hundred percent that pig butt over there. We had a toy that was a pig. 
Yeah, and uh, and it was super, it was super gross. And he just was drooling and drooling and drooling. It was just. It's a pool of, of dog shit. Yeah. So, it was gross. It was gross. Super gross. Yeah. The, the pleasures of a dog owner, especially one that likes to drool. He's just not that drooly. Comparatively. I found that he's gotten a bit more drooly as he gets older. Yeah. As he gets older. Yeah, his toots are, are man sized. He used to have toots that are like a whisper, like a. And now the other day, like he's laying on the floor and he farted like an old man. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, you know what, Denny? Too these, if you can find them, they're like a dollar or two dollars at um, PetSmart. They literally have them at the front. It had a squeaker at some point. I don't think it still squeaks. Nah, it's broken. But he loves this thing, and I thought he was gonna rip it to shreds. It's pretty cheap, and he's had this for a couple of months now, and he still likes it. I know what you want. You want. Too. Yeah, Cooper gets a whole like um, haul every year. Excuse me, I hiccups. He gets a haul every year, so Daddy goes and picks up a bunch of treats. Although we recently learned that the pig ears are not good, so no pig ears this year. But he'll usually get some like new bones. He'll get some new toys. He will be seven in January. Um, so that's funny, Jenny. So when Cooper wants something that you're eating, he stares you down and then goes, mm, mm, and like grunts at you until like you acknowledge him. Hey, Cooper. You want some cuddle? It does that, and I swear it sounds like he doesn't know this. He knocked over your rug up there. It's okay, it's empty. Hi, good boy. Hi, Dad. Come up, what do you do? Want to do one, two, three, pop? You gonna get a toy out of your box? Let's pull your toy box into view. Are you trying to are you trying to open treats? You don't have thumbs. Go ahead, what do you want? Not this guy. <gasps> he's honestly, he's got so many. Like this poor snake hasn't squeaked in like years. Oh, he's still on. Oh no, it's, it's, it's oh, he squeaks. squeaks. What's the old snake then? This is not a snake. He's got a few. This <laughs> he got this like last Christmas, and in ten minutes it was destroyed. Um, his Duncan cup that's wrecked. His hot dog wrecked. His lamy wrecked. Burger no, that's taco. Taco wrecked. Chameleon Harris still did okay. Oh, there's the other one. No, that's for the other set. Oh. Is this your duck? That's a duck. Wrecked. That one had a broken uh, piece to it. I actually fixed it. It's sitting with super glue back at the uh, oh. dance. You're a penguin cat? Penguin cat! This is the one that doesn't trust the camera. Oh, it does, because the, yeah, the, the green screen. Yeah, the green screen off. This yeah. one is like, uh. Oh, I landed it on your head. She makes the huffing noise. Yeah, Cooper goes like. Mm. Yeah, he will like sit there and start drooling. This had another piece. This is your other ball. This is a hard ball. This is your burger. It's wrecked. You wrecked your burger. This is another duck. You have a lot of ducks. What's that? What's the duck? This is another snack. Same snack? Snack. Different snack? Large snack. This is the same snack? No, different snack. Where's the first snack? Right there, right under the, uh, the quail. Snack. Snack. Severus snack. Looks like your time box is sad and just focus that he loves, but they're just lifeless. Seriously. Look at this. Look at this motley crew. I, I don't know if everyone was here out there, but I we called this one Harris because he's a chameleon. So now that's our VP, Chameleon Harris. This is like how many treats can you balance on your dog? 
How many broken toys can you fit on a corgi? Oh no! You're a pack corgi. Look marvelous. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting game of Jenga, exactly. Wait, you got your new toys? Is this your puppy? Oh, your puppy's broken too. That's not your old puppy. And he'll love like the randomest toys. Is this squirrel at your desk? Um, I'm not sure to be honest with you. I think we might have had to throw it out. Yeah. Oh, that's what you want? You want your balls. He loves this ball. It's supposed to be bacon flavored. That ball? Yeah. Oh, is that why? Candy corn? Candy cork. Candy cork. <laughs> Give me 20 minutes, I'll have this one ready to join the crew. Seriously, this frog, he's from last Christmas. He's still so light up. There we go. He lights up. This guy, honest to God, it was like Christmas morning. They let him have, look at, see, he still wants it. He literally opened it up at the neck, removed all the stuffing, and that was it. Ow. I think it's, I think it's supposed to be, I don't know if it's a leopard. I think it's a leopard. I heard it was a giraffe. It's so weird looking. It's like a weird neck. Gonna get it. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna get it. Yeah, Lammy's had better days too. Around your, their birthdays, you take, start to pick out their own. And he picks out the ones that are five times his size, which is super weird. Yeah, it, it's funny because sometimes the ones I think he'll love, he's like, meh. And then other ones, he's like, I love that. He does have some that are bigger, but most of them are, are like appropriately sized. Hedgehog. Ermagerd. Hedgehog. Ermagerd. Hedgehog. The story of the Ermagerd girl. Ermagerd. And she like told the story and um, apparently someone she went to school with, like without her consent, posted the photo. And it's kind of like, oh. Hi. Hi. This is my Hedgehog. Jenny, when are their birthdays? Ooh, you know what Cooper loves? They're donuts. What are they called? Uh, I forget what those are called. They have squeakers and they have them at Petco, but honestly, I buy them at TJ Maxx for like three, four bucks. What are they called? They have them on Amazon. Um, oh, come on, not on the internet, dude. He's licking his paw. Okay, that's how it starts. Good? Is your paw okay? Huh? Is your paw okay? Come here. Hey. Are you okay? No. Are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, look at me. Are you okay? Zippy okay. paws. Oh my god, he's cool. He's okay. I tried to get his butt to wiggle. Yeah. It's called Zippy paws. Oh my god, they have one. It's a hide and seek toy. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Oh it's, it's a set of donuts and a mug, and you can put the donuts in the mug. Whoa! Roast ball. <laughs> oh my god! See the couple of corgis. Well, it's going in your Christmas cart. That's that. But yeah, those Zippy Paw donuts, he loves them. Look at the milk and cookies one. But yeah, he loves them. Uh. The other one, and it's not here, it's at our pa our place, is um, they have, what is it? Who makes that one? It's the, so March 23rd and July 24th. Cooper is January 17th. Um, what was the one? Oh, PetSmart has them. They're hard to find, but they're called like, oh my 
my god, something toys. It's and OMG, yeah, yeah. I think. I don't know if it's like OMG surprise or something like that. But basically, each one is an animal with another animal inside, and they're meant to be destroyed. So it's perfect for corgis. So we buy him this toy that we're like, okay, it's meant to be broken. Great. It's literally meant to be ripped open to get it's the next toy. Freaking toy that he sat there and he's like, oh, this is my froke. My froke is my friend. I love my froke. He would drag this thing all over the house. He would take it to bed and he wouldn't rip it open. It took like two months yeah. before he finally popped a hole. It was like, oh. To pull like a hammy and Olivia, he was like, I love my frog. Yeah. It's, inside is a ball that looks like a fly. Like the frog ball, the fly. The, there's a pig one. I don't know it's why. It's filled with bacon. Yeah, right. It's got a bacon toy inside. And that's the thing. They're called, like, oh my god, surprise. Did we ever give him the, uh, the, the pig one, the bacon one? Did we? He doesn't have it. Oh, oh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know if we got that one. Oh god, surprise, I think they're called. Oh yeah. my god. So they have, um... And they all look actually mortified. Like, the... Like, <laughs> the frog looks like it's on it's it's you know it, it knows doom is befitting or it's right in the future it looks really really find. scared they're they're hard to find but it was like five bucks on sale i don't know if they're getting rid of them i'm trying to find them though because like they're really funny oh my god there's a, a toy on chewy it's a bowl of um guacamole and there's like a tortilla chip an avocado and a lime Okay, so they have the scary cat, they have the pleased pig, which is the bacon, the uneasy unicorn has a rainbow inside, there's a baffled beaver, the cowardly cow has milk inside, Moo. there is, let's see, the panicked pigeon, I don't know what's inside that one. Probably poop. <laughs> I can't see. It looks like a donut, but I don't know. Uh, the scary cat has a mouse inside. The elephant, the anxious elephant has a peanut. The fox, I can't tell what that is. What's the fox say? <laughs> I'm not doing it. The turtle is the shell-shocked one. It has a fish inside. The chicken has an egg. So they're all kind of funny, and like, yeah, his was the frightened frog. frog. And, and there's literally, like, it's filled with stuffing, and then it's got this, like, ball inside, and... And now, like, that poor ball is, like, it's, it's like, had better days, and he still loves it. And he'll, like, go and grab it, he'll bring that to bed now, too, his gross fly ball. Frog. The frog is, like, limp and dead, and he's like, this is my frog friend. And he will literally still drag, like, the limp dead frog with this horrified expression to the bed. And it's just so funny. Like, there was one morning where I found the frog, like... And I'm like, oh my god, this is the scene of the crime. <gasps> I didn't know what to go for. So many toys. Oh. Shit. You it's like, I'm gonna call you now. Can you kiss it, Brenda? Usually he'll stop and then he'll like lick my finger like, oh, she's just, hey. Thank you. Thank you. That was a fake out key. But he still did it. <laughs> I've been shot. Can you kiss it back? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's my foot. It's gangrenous. <laughs> <laughs> That's an insight. <laughs> There's nothing in here. I gave it all to you. Mommy has no water. You drank all my water. Oh you have your own water dispenser. Sorry, baby. Oh. Dad, you should come over here. Come on, cameras. Oh my gosh. She likes the uh, the red one to play tug of war, but he might. Play with that one right now. Are you happy? Are you it up? He so if you have never played with a corgi because there's the low center of gravity, like he could probably pull me with this bed if you want. Will I hear him get mad? Like fake mad? 
Talking to us while we are playing with the good boy. What a scratcher! Hardwood floors, one hundred and one. Hire contractors. Oh. <laughs> I'm sliding. I have no traction, Mom. Do me? Let me get it. <gasps> His butt's wiggling, but you can't see it. How many of the camera I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. He loves playing keep boy. Yeah. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm going to get it. Can I have it? I'll get it. It's all fake, by the way. He will literally growl and growl and growl and growl, and he doesn't mean any of it. Like, if another dog is, like, confronting him, he'll be like, er, er, er. Like, he'll bare his teeth and kind of growl, but, like, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Like, he's just not, he's not a mean boy. I was like, you should pop that door. It's hot. Yeah. I'm sweating. Oh. 
See if we get a second one, they can run this whole stream by themselves. Mm -hmm. Be like the Benny Hill. We still need one to run the camera. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's Cooper. He's smart enough. He'd be the executive, executive producer. Producer. Hey. <gasps> He's like, what the bork is happening? Because no matter how fast you try to be, he always beats you. Even if it's further away. <laughs> Almost. I feel like you need more water. You're huffing and puffing a whole lot. Do you need some water? Hey, oh, Cooper. you want to know how spoiled he is? Here's here's the, you know, you guys asked earlier who's more, who spoils him more. It is Joe. Because in the middle of the night, that I'll go. Like, oh, I'm so thirsty. If only I had some water. Hey, Cooper. And Joe will get out of bed, go get his dog bowl, and bring it to the bed and give him room service. Go get your water. Do I need to get your water? Come on. Hey, Cooper. Hey, Cooper. Come here. You can take it with you. Go ahead. Mommy's not going to take it. He wants to play? No. He wants to. He wants to play. Yeah. That's the. Come on, mom. Try to get it. And then if you don't, he like he plays keep away. But then if you don't want to play keep away, he's like, here, I'll give it to you. Psych, 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 psych. Everybody say hey, oh, hey, oh. Wow, <laughs> big boar. I bet that register on the mics. I told you, it's Bossy Nova. He is one lucky pooch. He really, honest to God, like, he's had lobster, he's had filet mignon, he's had homemade pasta, um, scratch-made croissants that took me three days to make. He got his own. Um, yeah, Joe brings in room service. He gets only filtered water, because, you know. Uh, what do you think? What other things? I don't know. He is he's he's spoiled, but I think he's just very loved. You know, he's very loved. He's very loved. He's like, bad mom, grab my blight. He's just such a good. Yeah, we don't drink our city's water either. It's it's really not good. And then we've also been adding, and I forget what it's called, but it, there's a water additive that we give him for his teeth that we've started doing. It's like a cap full for his whole bowl. And he actually doesn't mind it. We do that and then we have, um, we call it Trito gel. Oh! <laughs> He's like, where? Um, but the Trito gel is actually, uh, it's like a, a plaque and dental gel and you put it like in the back of their mouth and then they'll sit there and like blem. Like, but the funny thing is, it's almost Pavlovian. Like, now, he'll see the bottle, and I'll be like, hey, you want your mommy gel? Your Trito gel? And then he'll come over, and he's like, lime, 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 like, licking his chops. And then I'll give it to him, and he'll sit there and lime for, like, ten minutes. And then he always comes to brush his teeth. So at night, when we brush ours, he goes and he gets his toothbrush, and he he, he comes to brush with us. But he'll look at us like, you guys have got Oh. 
Can you just clip it to your shirt? <laughs> but yeah, he literally, if we don't brush his teeth, he's like, you guys don't got it, okay. go me. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Touch your tongue with it. Leave it. Okay. Ah! Get it. Yeah, Jenny, is yours the one in the green bottle? Because that's the one we use. Oh my god, my, my, my watch just said, workout finished, congrats. It thinks I had a 12 minute workout from playing with the dog. That is hysterical. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna show the people your collar really quickly. We're gonna leave it. It's Cooper. So there's a really cute thing with this tag too. So he lost his first one. And then we had to get it replaced, and when Joe okay. got it engraved, he showed me at home, and he put my phone number as the second phone number. And this is before we were engaged, so I was like, oh. It's like, well, you're his mom, so. And I was like, my heart. I made it. I made it, fam. I went from, like, the girlfriend to, like, the stepmom to, like, the full mom. I upgraded. Let me, let me upgrade you. I think you mean upgrade? Upgrade you. Yeah, so that, Jenny, that same company, they make treats and stuff, but they also make um, the gel. And he had a little bit of plaque buildup on his back teeth. So we started putting that on, and I literally will like pull back his cheek up and put it back there. And it's really helped with his plaque. And then I we brush him really nightly, and his. Toothpaste tastes like I think chicken. Yeah, yeah. What about that? I think it's chicken. I think it tastes like ass. Well, it smells awful, and then his breath smells terrible. And no, I actually didn't taste it. I'm joking, but no, but it smells like the. And he's like, I love this, and he will blend the heck out of the toothbrush. So I'll turn it the other way so he doesn't lick off all the toothpaste. <laughs> you have a personal servant fanning you. You have vanilla mint. Where the heck do you get vanilla mint? Cause ours tastes like butt. It smells like butt. I think is that one that's from the vet. That came with this first toothbrush, right? The one we have. Ah, uh, I think it came with the, uh, the toothpaste. toothbrush. Yeah. I want to find vanilla mint toothpaste. Let's do, baby. Drinking some water. Good boy. Almost Cooper's bedtime. I'm surprised he hasn't gone to lay down yet. Like at home, if it was this time, like he would have already looked at me and been like, "It's way too late," and then he'll climb into bed. Jenny, do you work for a vet? He's alert. He's a champion. Her. Oh my god, that's awful. Cooper loves cooking. Oh, he needs a refill. Okay. This is his way of saying yeah. the, the... So, this is his passive aggressiveness. He, If his bowl is empty, he will go and lick it, and then look at you like, do you see this? That's awesome, Jenny. Are you a vet tech, or what do you do? You okay? You harp a little bit? Hey, are you okay? Are you okay, Cooper? Oh, that's another one. Are you okay, Pete? Oh, you poor thing. Oh, okay. Not really poor thing. You're alright. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> the pencil. So yeah, if you, if anything, even if nothing has happened, if you go, Oh, Cooper! Are you okay? The little butt starts wiggling. Coming. His ears go back. He's like, oh, it's the worst. On the here, what happens? But it's the worst. The worst treats. Ready? Hey, you want to come? Come on, you can make it. What do you have? Good job. 
for all the Captain Cooper. Can you take your call? It's like a, this is a radio show on the Captain Cooper. Welcome to On the Couch with Cooper on Sirius Sam. I'm your co-host. Okay, that was a couple way to leg right there. Okay, you ready? Ugh. It's a verbal CET antibiotic cat and dog toothpaste. It smells good. Oh, nice! That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna throw your costume over there for a sec. Hello, my baby boy. Hello. They have it on Chewy Open too. Hi! Hi! Hello there! Hi. Oh. I gotta get your boobs. Okay. He's with a little paw up on me. Late nights with Cooper. Yeah. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Late Night Jazz, your host, Cooper Ford. wants a Pokemon battle with you. His team is all Yamper. They're nothing but Yampers. As far as the eye can see. Do you want to come up? You ready? Do you like these? They have shoes that help with class. Oh, that's good to know. Is the, the brand is CET? I'm going to have to look those up, Jenny. Thank you for the recommendation. One, two, three, pop, drink. Oh. Very difficult. Oh. Hello. Huh? Oh, How about this one? This one? I want this paw. <laughs> no, I didn't want that paw. I want this paw. Can I get a lunch check? You know what else Cooper loves is um, frozen blueberries. And actually, he also loves um, he loves lettuce for whatever reason. Apples. He does not like bananas. He doesn't like the texture. I think that's a crunchy um, a crunchy fruit or a crunchy vegetable. Like he likes carrots. Yeah, they call those vegan chopsticks. Crunk. Vegan crunchers. Yeah, we've really gotten a lot of the, the plaque on his teeth, and we've really worked on it. He loves fruits and veggies too. Uh, yeah, in the summer, I love to freeze like blueberries for him, and then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll treat him like treats, and we'll, uh, we'll play catch and things like that. And yeah, he loves apples. He loves lettuce. All like I said, oddly enough. Um, Carrots, blueberries. Oh, you love mango. Yeah, you love mangoes. I got a whole mango box from Miami Fruit one time, and uh, he legit like helped me eat all these expensive mangoes. <laughs> what else do you like? You like a couple different fruits and veggies. Oh, I gave him squash one time. He likes squash. He likes. Um, he really likes pumpkin. We started doing. Um, canned pumpkin for him, like a little bit in his food. He's really, really liking that. So I did that, and then I also did like some shredded chicken with some pumpkin in it, because he's spoiled. This is almost like elevator, like jazz. It's so funny. It's good though. Can you pop it in, pop it in? Bring us some water. Drink service. Boom service. Cooper never tips though. He's very cheap. He always forgets his wallet. The alligator arms. Would you like some water, good sir? The funny thing is, if when he doesn't want water, he'll literally turn away from it. Like, like it that. offends me. It offends me. It offends me. For me it is. Do not put this water in front of me again. Like he will literally like drink water, and they're like, "You want some more?" And he's like. Disgusts me. You may call me dog treats? 
Oh, if you have a recipe, can you post it in our Discord? I would love to make him some for Christmas. Hema, I would absolutely battle with a full-on doggo team. Oh, the Ambers! You know what's funny is, um, I was watching a TikTok earlier, and this woman was like, oh, like, sometimes my neighbor will, like, leave stuff on my, my doorstep, like, food and desserts and stuff, so I got a notification on my ring doorbell, so I went and I got it, and I didn't even wait for her to text me. I, I was nice. I split it in half to share with my husband for later, and I had like the little treat topper on top, and I ate it, and I was like, mm, this is not her best. Like, it's not that good. And then like 10 minutes later, I got a text from her saying, it was my dog's birthday, I made cupcakes for your dog. She's like, y'all, I looked at the ingredients, I literally ate milk bones. <laughs> it's like, this is dirt. Oh, thank you so much, Jenny. I would really, really appreciate that. We'll definitely have to make those and let you know how they come out. Hey, do you want to be a taste tester for some treats? Oh, I think so. So, guys, we're winding on the last couple of minutes of our stream, but I want to thank you guys so, so much. I know Cooper appreciates you all hanging out and cheering him on as he did all his puzzles. And thank you so much for our raid. Thank you to the raiders who came and hung out. Thank you for those who have followed and cheered. We appreciate all the support. Yeah, we can give a very quick shout out again to everybody. Uh, we'll go ahead and just go down the line here. Uh, Sayawada, thank you very, very much for the bits. Uh, Cyril, thank you very, very much for the bits. Queen Sketch One, thank you for following. Uh, Miss Medley, thank you very much for giving us a follow as well. Sketchy Things, thank you very much again. I know Stephanie said it, but Sayawada, thank you very much for the raid of 18. Uh, Realms, thank you for the bits as well. Hema, thank you for hanging out with us as long as you did. Jenny, uh, thank you for hanging out with us as well. Uh, if I'm missing anybody else, guys, thank you very, very much. Ronan, I know Ronan was here for a little bit. Not sure if you're still uh, lurking with us, bud, but thank you very much. Uh, Nicole... Uh, the Nicole, thank you very much for hanging out with us. Aaron, Aaron, we can never forget you. Thank you very much. Leaf, Leaf, dude, thank you very much for tuning in with us tonight. If I'm forgetting anybody else that's still here, definitely go and let me know. Tell me that uh, I'm missing you, but we'll get you next time if I do. Thank you very, very much, guys, for tuning in. We hope you have a great night. Please stay safe. Stay healthy. Stephanie will be with you on Wednesday. Wednesday from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, exactly. Right, Leaf? That's what we wanted. It was supposed to be a chill stream, and thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Hope you have a great night. And everybody, Cooper, say good night. Hey, Cooper. Say good night. Good night. Can you wait? We can't wait for this position. Bye, everybody. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.